Vegan YouTubers from Brazil uploaded a video on their channel that was from someone else's channel. They added captions in Portuguese and this video was being extremely effective because they were sharing on social media and so on. Lots of people were asking about it because this video was about the dairy industry. They were learning what's going on and they said, oh, I don't support this anymore, this is wrong. And they were talking to other people, explaining, you know, that they should go vegan because, you know, the dairy industry is a problem, but it's not the only problem. It was being awesome. The video was taken down. That's what happened. That's what happened after. And according to these users, it wasn't by themselves, even because this would be insanity. It wasn't by random users. It was by their own person that made the video. I just want to use this as an example. You know, according to the, these YouTubers that uploaded the video, it was their own person. This person even talked to them saying they were committing a copyright crime because they used this person's video. There is nothing wrong with, you know, asking for people that when they re-upload a video of yours or anything like that, that they add a link to your YouTube channel. That's okay, that's totally fine. Besides the video that they are watching, they will find your channel so they will be able to learn more information about veganism. So this is even better. But I see a problem when people don't like others to upload their videos on their channel because of because they lose the focus of the message this channel that made the re-upload was reaching so many people with that video and the, and they they told who this video was from they were not saying that they made the video they were not doing anything like that and what they did was legal besides being legal if you analyze the ethical side it's moral as well because I know some some things can be legal but not right but in this case besides being legal it's moral to do because more people will learn about it it's at least I think it's selfish not to let others others use your videos it will be more approachable more because then there will be more videos about veganism on YouTube and even if it's about the same topic like just a re-upload remember the people who watch someone's channel will not be the same watching another channel so you know more people will be able to to watch because it will it won't be the exact people watching the same it will have more chance to reach more people spreading veganism in a global level it's even better so what i'm trying to say is okay this will sound negative but we're all going to die one day we can be two types of people we can be a person that led a positive impact on this planet that even after death people will use them as examples or we can be a person that you know gets angry if other people re-upload their videos and take these videos down we are not helping the animals doing the letter I'm just saying, reconsider your emotions when people re-upload their videos and people use your content because this is a good thing, they're appreciating your activism. They are sharing what you do with people who wouldn't have found you. They are making the message more, they're making veganism more approachable. Some people just don't receive the information. You know, there are those people who don't want to hear about it and so on. But there are those people who are just like, don't have the information, like they are waiting information. There are those people who don't know, but if they knew, they would go vegan straight away. Some people may go by watching those re-uploads because they wouldn't have found their original channel. So that's what I'm trying to say. Don't get angry if people do this because it's for a good cause. Remember the animals over our image.